Hello, this is Matt Clemens again. Uh, since you seem a little bit interested in my twin cam Husabai, I thought I'd just give you a little bit uh, more background on it. The bottom end is more or less stock. Um, I've fiddled around a little bit with the gearing. Um, not much, but you could run a total OEM, no problem at all. Uh, but you need, when a fuel injection, you need a trigger wheel. And uh, that is definitely not stock for a uh, Husabai from the year 2003, as this is. So I've been using a flywheel from SEM uh, that they originally made for the Cannondale project that, um, out of commercial reasons, didn't turn out to be anything. Uh, the same engine uh, is now uh, working as uh, the 450 from Highland. But uh, to pick up the signal, I needed to assemble a uh, VR sensor on uh, the stock cover. And you can see the winding here inside. It's 120 watts, so uh, I think the fuel pump will require 7 amps, and this will give you 10. So I guess that's uh, sufficient supply. And uh, it is refitted. Like so, and um, the alternator wires goes here, and uh, the VR sensor connects here, of course. And um, so, the twin can head, head then. What's what's the deal with that one? You might wonder. The key thing is for a racing engine to uh, to be able to get as much air in as possible, and uh, that is done in this case by raising up the inlet port to make the line for the, um, for the air going very straight down to the combustion chamber. And to achieve that uh, you have to angle up uh, both the uh, intake and the exhaust valves. You can see the valves uh, here. It is a very flat combustion chamber. That's both good and bad. Um, the cams are working uh, directly on here, on these collets. Let's put that down and I'll show you the cams. The camshafts are uh, made from scratch. Um, and uh, you have a tooth gear here. Um, the reason for that is to, to make this as tight as possible. Um, and also these gears are mounted on the camshaft on a cone so that you can adjust the cam timing uh, continuously. This I believe will be the exhaust cam, like so. Um, these are also uh, mounted on needle bearings that is reducing weight and space. Alright, and then you put, you see the gear here, driving the two cams. This shaft here, it is positioned exactly where the OAM camshaft is, you know, the single overhead cam. So that makes the cam chain doing a very nice um, assembly. Just like um, like the OEM, and that is also uh, good for uh, because you you don't have to um, uh, to make any modifications on on uh, the slides, either the back one or the front one. So it's working like this. Let's put it on. See how it looks. There we go. Uh, you might take a little bit more attention on the cam timing than I did this time. You have the cover on top. Um, and on the other side, on the cam chain tunnel, is this lid. Uh, there is also a Hall effect sensor here that makes uh, the ignition and the fuel injection working only when needed, not on every turn. 
and uh, when raising up uh, the inlet as much as this you will uh, not have possibility to have uh, fuel here in the normal way so I had to make a fuel tank a separate fuel tank like this there is um, the fuel pump is uh, down here and uh, this is a throttle body from a Ducati 1098 it is uh, very large and it is overly shaped the oval shape is good for um, uh, the transition between the throttle body and the inlet port down to the valves it will be very smooth there will not be like a big Y going down this but, but it will be very slim and that is good okay and uh, you have a filter and a pressure regulator and then uh, the fuel returns down to the fuel tank again and you uh, connect it here that's about it that's all there is to it my friends so uh, if that adds some uh, inspiration to you then I suggest you just go ahead and make one yourself good luck